Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. I'm Big B. So today I want to go over the new Castle Creations Cobra 5 Hydra Marine ESC. Okay, uh, we're going to just kind of take a look at it, take a look at the uh, the exterior, do some measurements, some weights, uh, kind of go over some of the features, and uh, compare it to the old XLX2. Okay, stick around. Okay, so, I, so I've actually been beta testing this speed control for the past month or so. Um, I've had some pretty good experiences with it. I've had it in a couple of boats, three boats, and uh, gotten, gotten some pretty decent speeds with it. Okay, uh, it's basically, it's basically an, an updated XLX2. I have my oldest XLX2 here. This is, uh, well, I got this Hydra when it first got released. Uh, the frame of the new Cobra 5 is the exact same size, height, width, and pretty much weight as the XLX2. CNC cut aluminum anodized case, okay, Cobra 5. Uh, it's got an updated 32-bit uh, microprocessor, okay. Um, I, as far as I know, I think it's still 180 and 350. Uh, amp rating 180 amp burst 350 but i've actually pulled more than 350 from it and uh it, it gave it it gave it and the temps have been cool okay uh it actually has a new castle link you you will not be able to use the xlx2 castle link with the cobra 5 uh, it actually has lots of new uh, data log features like uh, G-Force, which I thought was really interesting. It, it actually has a um, more more samples per second for your data logging, so you'll get a a more accurate data log. Okay. Uh, I've had this in my Scorpion. I had it in my Scorpion for a while. 104. I had it in my oxidine dominator uh, did some like super hard ovals on 8s with it 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 gave it just gave and gave and gave you know um i did a couple speed passes in the dominator uh, i think i got around 90 with the dom with this unit in it about a month and a half ago i think i've had it for about two months to be honest with you uh i just put it in the sonic wake when i changed over holes i put this new hole together in an rc boat bits hardware uh, first outing with that boat, we got 83. So. Nice. It's it's been it's been an absolute stud of a of a of a speed control. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. So let's get some measurements. Those of you who are not familiar, 63 millimeters wide. 100 millimeters long i'm going to measure to the top of the uh the nipple actually i'll just do the case 23 millimeters thick 23.3 .3, to be exact comes with the eight gauge power wire just like the the old castle okay you'll need eight millimeter connectors or better qs8 ec8 um eight millimeter bullets Okay, for your, for your motor, right? And this one here, mine, actually came with uh, the, the large bore nipples. It didn't have the small nipples with the optional large nipple. It come right with the uh, large bore, which was nice. That's all you really need. You know, it has the same mounting pattern as the XLX2, okay? And yeah. is waterproof, smart sense, and cryo drive, 20 amp peak BEC adjustable BEC okay so this is what your home screen looks like okay nice Cobra 5 got your uh, cutoff voltages everything's pretty pretty similar to the XLX2 you know custom uh, I'm running a custom and then uh, well I was running trying to run custom but I found that the auto and 3.0 volts per cell has been working pretty good um, I have gotten some premature power cuts with this because it does not give you a zero 
no voltage protection you know so um, reverse type BEC voltage is adjustable fully adjustable there power start power max power reverse percentage and punch control uh, brake we don't use brakes on our boats advanced auxiliary wire none throttle band band motor current limiting it will uh, you can you can custom or I've actually set mine for the 600 amp maximum current limit it is a hundred and eighty amp continuous 350 amp burst but it is capable up to 600 um, I've known guys with the XLX2 to pull 500 amps but this one here as you can see it actually has a 600 amp uh, like ceiling you know uh, motor direction motor timing uh, zero I'm running zero timing on my uh, on my TP motor there you got motor temperature cutoff I have it disabled right and then you have two four six eight pole options here and um you're logging you get lots of options for logging so that so the nice thing that i found with this castle is you don't have to clear out all your data you know you have all your sessions i have 24 sessions here i got two picked out um and we're going to go ahead and, and load it up uh you got to make sure that you pick out which uh, parameters you want to save on your data logging and it'll basically take us right to our data so we're going to go to our 11 minute run here so it's not as jumbled up and as you can see I have pretty much everything like clicked right I'm just going to give you guys a real quick uh, you know scroll through I'm not going to name each one out but you guys can see what you're able to save and the parameters the data you can check okay uh, this one here is pretty neat the acceleration we pulled 2.4 G's on this particular run which is pretty crazy um, like I said on my dominator I pulled like four G's in the park pond <laughs> so we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and hide all of this because it's just kind of we really don't use all that right um, really all I like to look at is the power battery current battery ripple battery voltage acceleration and then I'll actually take a look at my power out make sure I got to a hundred percent but we'll go ahead and uh, disable that so it's not as jumbled up for us pretty pretty traditional way of data logging with castle you know nothing's really changed in that aspect you just have a couple more uh, options you know so let's get rid of current uh, so we actually have battery voltage uh, battery current in the green and then our acceleration is in the blue so we can take acceleration off you can see where we peak where our voltage dipped and then you can put the acceleration on and kind of see uh, the amount of G's we were pulling at any given uh, point in time right so let's just kind of pick out this right here um, so for this run we were at 1.5 G's uh, dipped our current about a, a volt and a half and we were pulling somewhere in the neighborhood of 310 amps uh, for this particular pool here uh, this isn't a speed run uh, data log here this is just doing ovals you know so um, yeah I just wanted to kind of show you guys this real quick throttle curve okay brake curve I don't really mess with the throttle curve too much I guess I could but uh I, I like using my my old-fashioned you know get a feel for it with my fingers so, uh, yeah yeah let, let's go back to the shop and um we'll finish up this review nice that was pretty. right so I'm pretty sure uh, that data log run was was with the C C Cobra 5 and the supersonic wake with this uh, 1350 uh, 5660 motor that that motor it's an absolute beast I mean it pulls some major current and I figured this boat right here would be the best test for this Cobra 5 you know I got it all plumbed back in uh, th this does not come with the unit I made that little guy there so I could change the ESC out on different boats and I just use my cooling line as a on off switch holder <laughs> you know it, it 
that might be a good idea for you guys I, I don't know but uh yeah yeah it was a simple simple way to mount my my switch uh yeah pretty robust speed control uh it handled everything i threw at it you know um everything so i just want to give a shout out real quick before i let you guys go to castle for uh letting me be a part of the beta testing team um pretty cool experience I, I really appreciate it uh nothing but good things to say about the cobra 5 uh so yeah i guess with that i'll let you guys go hopefully you guys kind of got a glimpse of uh some of the new features some of the new parameters data logging uh available with this new unit so uh thanks for watching like comment subscribe